did a tune I wrote with my favorite folk singer, Lou Reed. Are there any Lou Reed fans in the audience? L O U R E E D. He was in the Velvet Underground. We wrote this song and we went in the studio and recorded it for a live album called The Can't Relive the Past. Though he said, Isn't that what we're all trying to do? And he's a folk singer because folk musicians um, deal with the regions. They deal with the vernacular, they deal with what's around them. You know, people doing the blues, you know, the Mississippi, they had talking about stuff in Mississippi, or people in Appalachia talked about stuff in Appalachia. And Pete Seeger was a folk singer, but he got his songs from all over the world, you know, he brought them all together and played them for us. But he was not a true folk singer like Lou Reed, because Lou Reed was was part of New York City. He was only about New York City, basically. And that's why he's focusing, because he was saying stuff about what he knew. Okay, they weren't the pristine little flowery dogwood <laughs> streams of, you know, Appalachia, or the, the rolling thunder rivers of, and the cotton fields of Mississippi, but he knew about the gutters and the sewers of New York. So you heard about the pretty little sewers and the pretty little gutters in New York City. his songs. So, um, he tried to tell the journalists, you know, Lou had, he was kind of prickly, but he, he would tell journalists um, about this folk singer, you know, this angle I was just discussing about being a folk singer, and they just, <laughs> they said, shut up. We don't want to hear about folks. We want to hear about the heroin problem up in Harlem. We want to hear about the streets, you know, what's going on in the mean streets of New York. So they didn't, they, he didn't get too far trying to explain to them that he was a folk singer. They just said, we don't want to hear it. Let's talk about other songs, Dirty Boulevard and Waiting for the Band and stuff like that. We're on the West Side, right? And Lou, we did a poetry festival in Corniano, Italy, which was the home of Prosecco. Anybody like Prosecco? You know that sparkling wine? It's really good. We were driving down to Venice, down a long causeway, and Lou lived on the rivers, the East River, the Hudson River. So we were driving down the causeway, just right alongside the bobbing fisherman lights, bobbing lights of the Mediterranean, you know, going into Venice. And, uh, he looked out the window and he says, what river is that? What river is this over here? It was the Mediterranean Ocean. So, <laughs> <laughs> it damn, looks like the East River. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she was his pharmacist. <laughs> I worked in the, in the village in New York for a long time, and I was a pharmacy tech, and he would come in. And we were always, a lot of stars used to come in. We were always told, you know, don't make a big deal of all the big stars, you know. I can't you know, like everybody else. Nobody knows me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except Lou Reed. When Lou Reed comes in, it's a different story. So just be really careful because he's really very sensitive. And he would walk in and everybody would scatter. And I'd be the only one left there to deal with him. But it turned out he, was, it, he wasn't an asshole. Sorry. <laughs> he was the kindest, sweetest, shyest, person I ever met and we hit it off so well and he would only allow me he wouldn't allow anybody else to wait on him I had to wait on him and and uh, he'd call me up like like a big baby Cheryl I'm sick I send me something because my eyes are watery and my nose is watering and I can't breathe and I'm like Lou it's okay I'll send something over <laughs> so that's the kind of relationship I had with Lou Reed I wish I had known Eric at the time because it would have been cool to to bring I the two walked worlds. in there, I saw you many times no, in the you morning. Didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bigelow's Pharmacy. Bigelow's Pharmacy. It started in 1838, and the first uh, the first five customers, Mark Twain was one. Yep. And yeah. you should see what his prescription is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling. Huckleberry I'm fan. Not telling. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah.